What's happening? Thanks for joining us again. I'm Chris. I'm John. Hello. And we're going to check out one of Stone's Vertical Epic series. This is the 111 Um This was an ale brewed with Anaheim chilies and cinnamon. Um, I'll be straight up. I'm usually not one for beers made with Spice? spices and cinnamons and that kind of stuff. It's usually not for me. Yeah, but... Nice. Be that as it may, we're going to check it out and just see what, what it has going, because... It's a beer. It's a beer, and I like beers, and I'm willing to try different beers, so... Um, I think the only... I've had a couple others. I've had the 09, which is the Baltic Porter, or uh, it was a Belgian Porter, which was I thought was pretty good, and I still have one in the cellar. Um, and then one that was like, it was like a chamomile, I think, it was like the... Is it a the, sleepy time beer? The 10, 10, 10. Yeah, you take a nap after. It comes with, like, yeah. some turkey. Yeah, so, again, this is another fairly clear. Not I wouldn't say it's crystal clear, but it's mostly clear. It's a dark amber. Uh, like a dark amber. It's got a really, really good, thick, like, kind of off-white head on it. Laces up pretty good. Yeah, it looks real nice. So you can see the carbonation coming up off the bottom. It's a good looking beer. Yeah, definitely getting a lot of spice right there on the nose. I wouldn't say that the nose, you can identify quite the spice. Right, you, can, you can't it's, identify, you can tell it's there though. Yeah, it's a very spicy nose, but you couldn't just say, that's cinnamon, or that's the chilies. Yeah. It just has this it's not floral like you would get from a really hoppy beer. It's just very pronounced. Right, you can you can tell there's something there that ha that has some sort of uh, yeah. You know, it's present. Yeah, there's there's a presence of something that's spicy, kind of like an herbal. I think you can pick pick the ch chili up right at the end of the nose. Cheers. Yeah, we should probably just get into the research part of this. That's really interesting. Yeah, it's definitely you're getting the the chilies, you're getting the cinnamon. It seem and it, those two seem to blend together fairly well with the rest of the beer. No one part of the beer is overwhelming. Um, any of the characteristics of like the cinnamon or the chili really isn't holding down any other aspect of the, of the beer here. And I think that's kind of a disappointment as far as I'm concerned. I wish that something was standing out more. I think um, it's very complex. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on, but nothing really stands out or everything doesn't really stand out. So it's just kind of, it's kind of the back end of all those things. And it's just, there's not enough right. to punch through. I, mean, I think for, for me, I'm not generally one that likes those in a beer. So I think me either. for this, because it's blended and more rounded, at least now to year, I didn't have this fresh, so I can't speak right, to that. Yeah. But I think this works like for me because there's nothing that's terribly abrasive about it, and it just seems to be something that you, know, you can actually drink fairly well. It's got like a nice, full kind of almost creamy, uh, creamy mouthfeel to it. Well, as far as well, for me, I'd say that because nothing stands out, it's something I'd probably put back on the shelf. Yeah. I, I was just expecting, and possibly that's because of the aging on it, yeah. everything's mellowed out, but I wanted some of those flavors to come through more as a presence, so they stand yeah. out. So yeah, it just kind of seems run-of-the-mill as if half-spiced. Mm. No, it's just like, it's 9.4%. You wouldn't know it. Mm -mm. At all. Absolutely not. There's no booze note to this whatsoever. No. Like, yeah, it seems it's like a really, it's like like a rich kind of, like a rich brown ale, um, you know, real nutty kind of complexity to it and just added these cinnamon, like the cinnamon and the peppers. But, you know, like I'm saying, for me, I like it because it's rounded and nothing is overwhelming, but you're looking for a little more something. Right, based uh, on, but that's all label appeals. Like, mm -hmm. you should find this, you should find this. 
Yeah, and, and I'm the sure essence we, is there, but it's just not strong enough yeah. to really pick it out. And I'm sure if we take the time to read the write up they have on the back, the 500 um, word write up. Yeah, yeah, tell, tells you all about this year's vertical epic. But that plants an idea in your brain. Yeah. So, so we didn't read that, but um, I'd say overall for me, probably not a beer I'm going to go towards at any point, just because I'm not into that. But for right. what it is. I can appreciate it. It, it, it. It's put together in the right proportions right. for me to be it, able to to enjoy for what it is. It's not a bad beer. It tastes okay. It just, for me, it just doesn't have the notes which would really put it over the top. Yeah. But it doesn't. It it's drinkable. It's enjoyable. Just not over mm-hmm. the top, I guess. I like yeah. it. I think they did a pretty good job with the dry, chilly finish to it, and. No, it's nothing that stands out amazingly, but it all blends together well, and it's an easy drinking beer. Yeah, cool. All right, so I guess with that, we're going to continue uh, debating the pros and cons of this bottle. we got half of it left. Hope you're enjoying something as well, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.